Guys, thanks so much for being uh, with us this afternoon to talk about your experience uh, on the convention floor at CES 2019. Eric, I'm going to start with you. Tell me how you decided what uh, exhibits to show to Stephen and the people at Sigma. Yeah, we focus a lot on proactive patient care. So now with advances in technology, real-time data and insights can actually nudge you in real time to make small behavior changes that can have a significant impact on your health. Talk about the concept of nudge and what does that mean? Does that just mean new ways to prompt you to you know, experience healthcare in different ways? Yeah, that's a great question. So based on data and real-time insights, devices using sensors can proactively give you insights and advice in real time to tell you how to better yourself. So for example, if you're slouching, devices can tell you to sit up straight while you're actually slouching. That's pretty cool. So Stephen, when on the tour with Erica, what did, what did you learn and see uh, as takeaway that's going to really sort of uh, impact your marketing for Cigna in 2019 and beyond? Yeah, I think one of the things that I saw that really was impactful for me was not just the idea of nudges, but also the idea of a deeper integration into the daily lives of our customers and then in general consumers, and helping to have them move down that path of not thinking of healthcare as just something when you're sick, but really having healthcare as a primary objective in terms of prevention and well care versus just when I'm sick. Um, Erica, when you're preparing, uh for uh, these tours, what did you find most interesting? I think a lot of the advances that are being made in sleep care are really, really interesting. For example, there's an exhibitor called Ergomotion that actually adjusts the mattress to help improve your sleep. Sleep, things like that, there, there are lots of things that are not necessarily obvious but really important, Stephen. Like, what are some of the other sort of things that people should be aware of as technology shapes the healthcare business? There's places to look for from the minute that you get a prescription from your doctor. There are tools available that you can really help to steer yourself to the right price point if you're thinking of more affordable solutions. Um, and then one of the things that we've really brought full force uh, with 5 million customers and another 7 million customers coming on this past January 1st is uh, something that we call One Guide, which is really kind of the best of digital together with the human touch to really help guide customers to, to proactive solutions and really connecting behind the scenes um, whether it's a chronic condition or whether it's even connecting you to, to a, a certain type of, of doctor or physician. Are you um, looking at some of these sort of really bleeding edge technologies like uh, machine learning and AI and blockchain to help transform the business? Definitely, definitely. Uh, just uh, last year, Cigna made an acquisition of a company called Brighter. Um, based out of Santa Monica and one of the reasons we wanted to we started with a pilot with them and then we transitioned into just a full-scale geez this is something that's really important because they've got a proprietary algorithm that helps match you to the doctor of your choice at the right uh, price for what you want to pay as well. So Erica I don't think healthcare is necessarily your your hardcore expertise right? Right. Yeah. So that's that's just so cool that you were able to sort of like d deep dive into a, a new space and get some expertise. How, how Talk to me about that. Yeah, I think the most important takeaway is greater control for consumers, more personalized data, and then more opportunities for marketers.